Hello friends, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. My topic for today is Stages of Crime. Under penal law, there are four stages of crime. The first one is intention, second preparation, third attempt, and fourth is accomplishment. The first stage of crime is intention. Intention is basically a mental stage. One may express an idea which is contrary to law, morals, or is unconventional, but as long as he does not act on them or induce other to act on them, such mental matters are outside the realm of Indian penal law, and the person may not be subjected to criminal prosecution. Intention to commit a crime is not punishable unless it is made known to other either by words or conduct. The detail about intention has been explained by me in my first video that is element of crime. As I said that unless and until the intention is made known to other either by a word or conduct, it is not punishable. But still there are certain exceptions. Waging a war against the government is punishable in this case, mere intention to commit is punishable. Similarly, mere assembly of persons to commit a decoity is punishable even though there is no preparation for it. The second stage of crime is preparation. The term preparation has not been defined in the Indian Penal Code. Preparation means a devising means which is always necessary for the commission of a crime. It consists of arranging or building things that are needed to commit a crime. At this stage, the intention to cause harm starts manifesting itself in the form of physical actions. It is however possible for the person to abandon his course of action without causing any harm to anyone. And it is difficult for the prosecution to prove that necessary preparation has been made for the commission of the offence. And it happens in most of the case also that the prosecution has failed to prove the question of preparation for the commission of a particular crime. Because having something which is illegal or which may harm to another person is not, is not necessarily is a reason to commit a crime. For example, a loaded pistol, for example, a sharp weapon like knife, for example, a poison, anything. Like if, if a person is having a loaded pistol, it may not have the intention to kill someone. It may have intention for self-defense also. So that, that's why mere having loaded pistol does not frame any charges. But there are some exceptions also. In Indian Penal Code, Mere preparation to commit an offence is punishable in the following offences like waging war, preparation to commit a decoity, preparation for counterfeiting coins and government stamps, possessing counterfeit coin, false weight or measurements and forged documents. After having intention and making preparation, the third state of crime is attempt. If the attempt to commit a crime is successful, then the crime itself is committed. But where the attempt is not followed by the intended consequences, it comes under the category of attempt to a set crime. There are some essentials of attempts. The first one, there must be a guilty intention to commit an offense. The second one is some act must be done towards committing the offense. And third is, the act must fall short of the completed offence. That means a person is having an intention and he has also made a preparation and thereafter he has also tried to execute that particular act. But because of certain things, the particular illegal act has not been completed. So that is why that particular thing is called as attempt of a set offences. There are prescribed punishment in the Indian Penal Code for attempt in three categories. The first one is there are certain offenses 
where the attempt have been dealt in the same section and same punishment is prescribed. For instance, waging war and attempt to wage war, it has been defined under section 121 of IPC. However, in certain cases, punishment for an attempt to offenses and offenses are dealt separately. For instance, punishment for murder is dealt in section 302 while attempt to murder is dealt in section 307. Then third category is other attempts are covered under section 511 of IPC which prescribe the longest term of imprisonment or with fine or both. The last stage of crime is accomplishment. This is the last stage because the accused is guilty of the offense only if he succeeded in his act. Otherwise, he is guilty of attempt only. This is all about the stages of crime. If you want a detailed note of stages of crime, you may visit to my website that is priyasapaha.com. That is all today. See you later. Bye-bye.